Hi and welcome students. This tutorial will cover Access 2016 and how to open and save existing databases. Today's lesson I'm going to be looking at Microsoft OneDrive where I have a file stored and it's a Microsoft Access file. And here's the file right here. Anytime that I'm on OneDrive and I want to download the file into Access, I'm going to right click on that file and then I'm going to go right here to download. Now I'm going to show this from Microsoft OneDrive but you can basically use the same method from anywhere on the internet. So I download the file and it says open with Microsoft Access. Alright, keep in mind it cannot open up an Access file if you do not have access on your computer. So right here, whenever I download a file from the web, it's going to give me two options up at, here at the top and it's very important you pay attention to these two yellow boxes. One says security warning, active content must be or has been disabled. Click for more details. All right, you're going to see this anytime you download a Microsoft Office uh, file from the internet. So uh, normally I'd say click enable content, but in Access it's a little bit different. This one we see another warning and it says read only. This database has been opened and read only. You can only change da data in link tables to make design changes, save a copy of the database. So that's the point of this video where I'm going to go over how to save your Access files. So you go right here to save save as and then in Microsoft Access it's going to open up uh, files on your computer I'll just save it to my desktop here and I'll just save it as uh, access saving just for the uh, purposes of this video so it saves as an ACC DB file which stands for access database and then I click save all right. Now you'll notice that even after I save it, I still have this yellow security warning bar up at the top. A lot of students try to start opening up the tables and start working at this point, but really what you should do is click enable content. That way you can get all of the active content and you can start editing your documents and editing your tables and start adding uh, your other objects and uh, basically working with the full program of access. So uh, that's how you open up a, an access file from the internet and that's how you save it. So make sure that you save it uh, to a place that you can remember with a file name that you can remember as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions or comments please put it into the comment section below. Please consider subscribing to the channel and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.